Team AOB, how's it going? I hope you're all staying healthy and safe and in good spirits. Today, we're gonna talk a little bit about ball speed, mainly how we can add speed to our shot, which you may already know I am a big fan of. We'll talk about it next on The Art of Bowling. I'd like to announce our partnership with Bolify. They have made me a national member of the Bolify staff and are now the exclusive jersey of Art of Bowling channel. Please look in the context box below for your link to your Bolify Art of Bowling jersey. Hi, I'm Coach Arthur, and thanks for watching the Art of Bowling channel where we discuss tips, tricks, and techniques to help you bowl your best. If it seems like it's up your alley, consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any episodes of Art of Bowling. As mentioned, we'll get into how to increase your ball speed. And as we talk about ball speed, we'll be highlighting our next Kubi featured bowler, Ivan Chan. So when it comes to speed in bowling, where do we generate our power from? Is it from violently cupping and uncupping our wrist? That will definitely give us more rev rate. Or how about swinging harder? I suppose that could work. Maybe running to the foul line so we have more momentum to, uh, wait a minute, that's got something to it there. So let's meet Ivan and look at his delivery. Ivan currently attends Benjamin Cordozo High School in Queens, New York. He's only been bowling for three years, and in his first year he was on the Art of Bowling All-Stars State Championship team. He finished his junior season with an average of 180 and is on pace to average 200 this year. As far as his major, he's thinking either pharmacology or business. Now let's look at Ivan's footwork, which affects his ball speed. Ivan has little cadence to his footwork which does not generate enough momentum to get all the potential speed his body can produce. There are three things we can look at to increase his ball speed. First, we can move him back on the approach. So how does that work? Well, for some reason, our brains tell us to finish at the same spot we normally finish. So we will naturally take longer and faster steps. These faster steps will result in a faster ball speed. The second thing we can do is change the cadence of his steps. We can add a longer second step, which will make his third step shorter and quicker. This may sound familiar as what we are describing here is a power step. It helps create an explosive release point, which when mastered creates much more pin action. The third thing we're looking at is his opposite arm, which is used for balance as well as hip torque. Ivan has a very effective opposite arm which gives him great balance and engages his right hip into the swing. For anyone looking for talent in their program, Ivan is a great student and is on his way to being a top-notch student athlete. I hope you learned something today about ball speed and how to generate more of it. If you did, give us a like and leave a comment on what topics you would like to cover next. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes. Hi, I'm USBC Silver Certified Coach Arthur O'Connor. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes. Coming up on the Art of Bowling.